Hi guys, 3D Hero here, and welcome to today's latest Type for 2 loadout video, where I shall be presenting you with different loadouts to try out in PvP. Today's loadout is going to be another Type for Assault Burn Car Pilot, who is legendary on locking down areas, and also a pain with dealing with, who is also called the Sentry Tech. Now the Sentry Tech is a legendary burn car in Type 4 Assault, who once activated has the ability to spawn a sentry on each hardpoint he captures. Now these sentries he spawns aren't overly powerful, as the standard sentries you get in game, but if placed strategically, they, that won't matter, as it will allow you to shut down the majority of players who want to regain control of certain zones. Since Type 4 Assault control game mode is slightly different to the Type 4 2 hard zone, I'm not going to go ahead and copy this bit by bit, since hardpoint on console is really empty or full of very serious players. So instead, we're going to be playing this on another game mode that I equally hate as well, but it can work out within our favour and that is Pilot vs Pilot, or Bounty Hunter. But anyways, let's have a look at the main loadout. The class you'll be playing as is the Grab class, who has the ability to climb higher areas and get out of danger much more quicker compared to the other classes. At first, I didn't really know what type of pilot body looks similar to Sentry Tech, since we were very limited in terms of pilots in Type 2, so instead I looked at what could make the Sentry Tech a bit more favourable in some fights. And for that reasoning, I decided to go Grapple, as Grapple will allow me to place my sentries in high areas that for some gamers can be great for clearing out ads and killing unexpected pilots. You won't be using a primary in the game, as the sentry tech didn't use a primary, but instead he used a pistol, which I've decided to go with these three, the P2A60, the RB45 and the Wingman Elite. All three of these weapons are effective in shutting down players in close to medium fights, but you may require some help from allies when going up against multiple groups of people. Also, if you use the RE45, do remember that the weapon is mainly ideal for close and medium range engagements, so don't get cocky with trying to take people out from longer engagements, as that puts you at a disadvantage. If you are going to use a primary weapon, the only primary weapon I would say you can use is a grenadier weapon, but you can't use it against personnel or enemies whatsoever, you can only use it against titans or reapers, that's the only time you can actually use it. Ideally, you should try to stick with this loadout exactly how it is on the screen. But, like always, you can always change it to however you want because I don't have the power to say you have to use this loadout for everything. Play it how you want and play it how you feel. The anti-titan weaponry you will be using is the archer, suitable for the pilot you'll be playing as since 50% of the time you won't be moving around a lot as you should be trying to protect your sentry while the other 50% you'll be running and gunning and finding new areas to set up a new sentry to. Your ordnance can be either the arc grenade or the gravity star. Both are great for stopping players in their spot for a few seconds and allows ample time to utilise your sentry for mowing them down. If they get out of it however, you can always chase them down and finish them off using your pistol. In this case, I choose the uh, arc grenade for its blast radius and effectiveness against titans as well. Your boost can either be amp weapon for increased damage or hardball to provide extra cover for yourself and friendlies. Your titan will be Thermal Scorch, a customised titan seen in Titan for Assault that walks towards the enemy and does most of his damage using his flame shield. We're going to be running this build with Inferno Shield that increases damage, size and width of our shield. And we'll also be running Double Smoke to allow us to get away from most fights while damaging anyone that gets near us. Our pilot kit will be Power Cell to allow us to regenerate a class ability quickly and Kill Report to see where friendlies and enemies die on the battlefield. So now when you go into a match you need to remember that you're limited on how much support you can provide to your friendlies since your turrets are limited and can be easily destroyed. Plus your pistol is your main weapon of choice, meaning you can go into some when we run fights and most times you may survive and other times you won't survive. You have to play it smart. So I recommend you play it smart and steady. You need to pay attention to where the enemies and teammates may clash in and utilise the chaos to your advantage. If you know where the enemy players are based in, then you can set up your turrets to prevent them from pushing forward. And then depending on what part of the map they're on, you can close off escape routes and basically trap them. But this can only work if your teammates are fighting non-stop and moving around other parts of the map and also helping you. If they catch on to seeing what you're doing, they'll also help you with stopping the enemy from escaping. So in many ways it will basically spawn camping and although that's highly looked down upon, for this loadout here it can work and it can't work at times. The only time it won't work is when the enemy eventually either pushes up enough when they get the titans or they eventually start spawning on the other side of the map. This here basically means that the enemy will have a chance to start pushing up, spreading out and basically catching the pilots out one by one. It will be up to you to try to utilise your turret in other areas. When you set up your turret, I suggest you place it in the high areas that would reward the player to go out in the open 
and destroy it. Or place it within buildings that have a clear view of the area, but also has protection around it. This can come in handy for you as while they focus on destroying the turret, it can allow you to move around or wait for the players to come in and allow you to finish them off. However, just remember that your pistol can only do so much in some engagements, so don't be afraid to run away. Also, use your grapple as best you can to either get away or climb areas that can provide a, that can provide a tactical advantage. There are many to explore if you look around on some maps. This is your go-to tactic in both Pilot vs Pilot and Bounty Hunter, and it should support you very well with gathering kills and preventing the enemy from destroying your team. If things do get hectic and out of control, then drop down your custom Scorch and help your teammates by providing them cover through your heat shield or by sneaking with Scorch and get the capture of the enemy players, and destroy them using your shield and extra smoke. All in all, you become the bait while your teammates regroup and attack. Overall, this is a standard loadout that's mainly designed for preventing the enemy players from moving up and destroying your team. You'll provide the support for your sentries and relay them back to your teammates, so they know when to stick together and when to push up. Hopefully, this should allow you less deaths to occur on your team and more strategic fights, although that's not always the case. As you know, working with random doesn't always work within your favour or anyone else's favour. So that is the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then by all means leave a like, a comment and subscribe for more. If you didn't, then by all means leave a dislike. I'll look over the video and I'll check over what went wrong. So once again guys, thank you for watching and I'm sorry if I sound a bit weird. I'm currently got a, I currently have an illness right now, so most of my videos may sound very clear or might sound like I'm basically dying. And basically right now, I am currently dying. So I'm sorry if it sounded really bad guys, but I hopefully I should get better in the near future. So once again guys, thanks for watching and I hope to see you all again soon.